What does it take to lead one of the NFL's most feared defenses? For Brian Urlacher, it was more than just brute strength. It was his unmatched combination of speed, size, and football intelligence. Urlacher wasn't just another linebacker. He was the monster in the middle of a Chicago defense that struck fear into the hearts of offenses across the league. But how did he rise to become the heart and soul of the monsters of the midway? Urlacher's career with the Chicago Bears is legendary. From his first game in the NFL, it was clear that he was different. He wasn't just physically dominant. He was always a step ahead mentally, reading offenses like a quarterback. Throughout his career, he led the Bears to some of their greatest defensive performances, cementing his legacy as one of the best middle linebackers to ever play the game. How did Urlacher's rare combination of speed, size, and football intelligence redefine what it meant to be a middle linebacker? By the end of this video, we'll uncover the story behind Brian Urlacher's dominance and how he became a symbol of the Chicago defense's resurgence. Stay tuned. Early life and college football beginnings. How does a kid from New Mexico go on to become the most feared defensive player in the NFL? Brian Urlacher's journey began in the small town of Lovington, New Mexico, far from the spotlight of big-time football. Growing up, Urlacher wasn't handed anything on a silver platter. He worked hard, developing his physicality and athleticism through multiple sports, including basketball and track. It was on the football field, though, that his natural talent began to shine. Despite his hometown's modest size, Urlacher's determination caught the attention of scouts. At Lovington High School, he became a local star, playing multiple positions and dominating on both sides of the ball. But it wasn't until he attended the University of New Mexico that Urlacher's potential really began to take shape. At New Mexico, Urlacher was a versatile defender, initially playing safety before transitioning to linebacker. His speed, size, and ability to cover ground made him a unique player. He wasn't just a hard hitter. He could chase down receivers, cover tight ends, and make plays all over the field. In his senior year, Urlacher became one of the top defensive players in the country, leading the nation in tackles and earning All-American honors. He finished his college career as a consensus All-American and a finalist for the prestigious Butkus Award. From a small town in New Mexico to the NFL draft board, Urlacher's college career laid the foundation for what was to come, a future Hall of Fame career where he would redefine what it meant to be a middle linebacker. Draft day, the perfect fit for Chicago. What did the Chicago Bears see in Brian Urlacher that made them gamble their first round pick on him in 2000? With the ninth choice in the NFL Draft 2000, the Chicago Bears select Brian Erlacher. For a franchise rooted in defensive tradition, the Bears were in desperate need of a leader to restore the glory days of their once dominant defenses. And they found that leader in Brian Erlacher. But what exactly made him stand out? In the 2000 NFL Draft, the Bears had their eyes on Erlacher's rare combination of speed, power, and football intelligence. Selected with the ninth overall pick, Urlacher wasn't your typical linebacker. His ability to roam sideline to sideline, cover tight ends like a safety, and stuff the run like a seasoned veteran made him the ultimate weapon in Chicago's defensive scheme. They weren't just getting a linebacker, they were getting a defensive anchor, a player who could single-handedly shift the momentum of a game. But Urlacher wasn't walking into a stable, championship-ready team. The Bears were in the midst of a rebuild, and the weight of those expectations immediately fell on Urlacher's broad shoulders. Fans, aching for a return to the days of the Monsters of the Midway, were restless. They needed a player to rekindle that fire, to strike fear into the hearts of opposing offenses once again. The pressure was immense, but Urlacher was ready to take on the challenge. As training camp began, the question wasn't whether Urlacher could thrive. It was whether he could carry the burden of bringing a defense and an entire city back to prominence. The stage was set, but could this rookie rise to meet the towering expectations placed on him? 
The answer would come soon enough, but for now, all eyes were on Erlacher, waiting for him to make his mark in the NFL. Would the Chicago Bears gamble on Erlacher pay off? Or would the pressure of leading a historic franchise prove too much? All the pieces were in place, but no one could predict just how quickly Erlacher would change the face of Chicago's defense. If you're enjoying this deep dive into Brian Erlacher's legendary career, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more stories of NFL greats. The Monster in the Middle, Erlacher's Early Dominance. Was Brian Urlacher the second coming of Butkus? Or was he something even more? That was the burning question, as Urlacher took the field in his rookie season with the Chicago Bears. From the very first snap, it was clear that Urlacher wasn't just another rookie linebacker. He was something different, something special. A player who could single-handedly alter the course of a game. In 2000, Urlacher burst onto the scene winning NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year with an impact that few had anticipated. At 6 feet 4 inches and 258 pounds, he had the size to be a fearsome presence in the middle. But what set him apart was his rare combination of speed, football IQ, and instinct. Urlacher could do things that most linebackers simply couldn't. He could drop back into coverage like a seasoned defensive back, and the next moment, he'd be shedding blocks and delivering bone-crushing hits at the line of scrimmage. What made Urlacher so dangerous wasn't just his physical abilities, it was his mind. He had a near-perfect ability to read offenses, anticipate plays, and disrupt everything. Offenses couldn't figure him out. He was too fast for linemen to block and too strong for skill players to evade. He could cover tight ends down the field or track down running backs in the open field with equal ease, and it wasn't long before quarterbacks began to feel his presence looming over every snap. Urlacher quickly became the heart of the Bears' defense, the commander in the middle who directed the unit with the authority of a veteran. His leadership was as crucial as his playmaking, and the Bears' defense started to take on a new identity, a fierce, unrelenting force with Urlacher as its anchor. The once proud defense of the Monsters of the Midway had found its new leader. By the end of his rookie season, Urlacher had more than silenced the doubters. He wasn't just a great linebacker, he was something the league hadn't seen before. He was redefining what it meant to play the middle linebacker position in the modern NFL, not merely following in the footsteps of Chicago legends like Butkus, but blazing his own trail. Urlacher's early dominance was a sign of things to come. And with each game, he carved out a legacy that would only grow stronger with time. The 2006 Super Bowl run, defense, wins championships. How did Urlacher lead the Bears to one of their most successful seasons in history? The 2006 season was a special one for the Chicago Bears, and much of their success was due to the dominance of Brian Urlacher and the defense. While the offense had its ups and downs, Urlacher and the defense carried the team to one of their most remarkable seasons in franchise history. From the start of the regular season, the Bears' defense, led by Urlacher, set the tone. They were relentless, consistently shutting down opponents and making big plays when it mattered most. Urlacher's leadership and ability to read the game allowed the Bears to play an aggressive style of defense that was both physically punishing and mentally draining for offenses. One of the key games that season was a Monday night football matchup against the Arizona Cardinals, where the Bears made a historic comeback without scoring an offensive touchdown. Erlacher's 19 tackles in that game were nothing short of legendary, and his performance helped fuel the rally that left fans stunned. As the playoffs approached, Erlacher's intensity only grew. The Bears dominated their way through the NFC playoffs, with the defense constantly making life difficult for opposing quarterbacks and shutting down running games. Urlacher's versatility, whether dropping into coverage, blitzing, or stuffing the run, was on full display. The Bears' march to Super Bowl 41 was fueled by the defense, but in the big game, they ran into one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, Peyton Manning. Despite a strong start, with the Bears taking an early lead thanks to a kick return touchdown, 
the Colts slowly took control of the game. Manning's offense was able to find its rhythm, and while Urlacher and the defense fought hard, the Bears ultimately fell short, losing 29-17. Although the Super Bowl ended in disappointment, Urlacher's leadership and the defense's performance throughout the season were widely praised. He had proven that he could lead a team to the biggest stage in football, and even in defeat, Urlacher's status as one of the greatest defensive leaders in NFL history was cemented. The 2006 season may not have ended with a championship, but it was a testament to Urlacher's impact on the Bears and the NFL as a whole. Urlacher's defensive prowess, breaking down his skills. What made Urlacher different from other linebackers? Was it his sheer physicality or was it his ability to read offenses like a quarterback? In truth, it was both. Brian Urlacher was the complete package, combining rare athletic gifts with a football IQ that allowed him to anticipate plays before they unfolded. One of Urlacher's greatest strengths was his ability to drop back into coverage, a skill that set him apart from most linebackers of his era. At 6 feet 4 inches and 258 pounds, Urlacher had the size to match up with tight ends and the speed to cover running backs out of the backfield. His lateral quickness allowed him to move fluidly across the field, making it nearly impossible for quarterbacks to exploit the middle of the defense. In an era when the passing game was becoming more prevalent, Urlacher's coverage abilities became invaluable. A prime example of Urlacher's defensive prowess came in games where the Bears faced top-tier tight ends or pass-catching running backs. Instead of relying on safeties to cover these key players, Orlacher often took on the challenge himself. His instincts and ability to read the quarterback's eyes made him a dangerous defender in passing situations. Time and time again, Orlacher would break up passes or force turnovers by baiting quarterbacks into making ill-advised throws. Urlacher wasn't just a coverage linebacker, though. He was fearless when it came to taking on blockers and stuffing the run. His physicality at the point of attack was legendary, whether he was shedding offensive linemen or meeting running backs head-on in the hole. He had a unique ability to diagnose plays quickly and get to the ball carrier before the offense could develop. There were countless moments throughout his career where Urlacher single-handedly changed the outcome of a game. His knack for making game-changing plays, whether through interceptions, forced fumbles, or key tackles for loss, is what truly made him one of the most dominant linebackers of his generation. Urlacher wasn't just a part of the defense. He was the defense, the player offenses feared most when they lined up against the Bears. The Bears' fearsome defense under Urlacher. How did Urlacher anchor one of the most feared defenses of the 2000s? The Chicago Bears' defense during the 2000s, with Brian Urlacher at its heart, was nothing short of terrifying for opposing offenses. Urlacher wasn't just the leader on the field, he was the glue that held everything together. His presence allowed the defense to function at an elite level, and his versatility made the Bears' defense one of the most dynamic in the NFL. Under Urlacher's leadership, the Bears became known as the Monsters of the Midway once again, a nod to their historic defenses of the past. Urlacher's ability to diagnose plays, whether it was the run or pass, allowed the defense to adapt and thrive in almost any situation. His versatility meant that defensive coordinators could design schemes around his strengths, whether he was dropping into coverage or stuffing the run. But Urlacher wasn't alone. He was surrounded by other great players, including Lance Briggs, one of the best outside linebackers of his generation, and Charles Tillman, the Bears' shutdown corner who specialized in forcing turnovers. These players, along with others like Tommy Harris on the defensive line, made the Bears' defense a well-rounded unit. But Urlacher was the player who made everyone around him better. His ability to communicate and adjust plays on the fly was crucial in keeping the defense in sync. The Bears' defensive scheme was built around Urlacher's unique skill set. His combination of speed and football IQ allowed the team to use a Tampa 2 defense, where the middle linebacker drops into deep coverage. 
Urlacher was perfect for this role, covering ground like a safety while still being able to make tackles at the line of scrimmage. His range and ability to make plays all over the field allowed the Bears to dominate, consistently ranking as one of the top defenses in the league. Urlacher's leadership, along with the talent around him, turned the Chicago defense into a force that offenses dreaded. Whether it was forcing turnovers, getting stops on crucial downs, or delivering bone-crushing hits, the Bears' defense, led by Urlacher, was a cornerstone of the team's success throughout the 2000s. Challenges and injuries. Could the monster be stopped? As dominant as Brian Urlacher was, even he couldn't escape the physical toll of playing middle linebacker in the NFL. Throughout his career, injuries tested his resilience. However, if there's one thing that defined Urlacher, it was his refusal to back down from any challenge, whether it was a running back charging at him or the physical limits of his own body. One of the biggest challenges came in 2009 during the Bears' season opener against the Green Bay Packers. Urlacher suffered a serious wrist injury that required surgery, and just like that, the heart of the Chicago defense was sidelined for the entire season. For a player who had been the constant, the unshakable presence in the middle, it was a devastating blow. Not just for him, but for the entire Bears team. Many wondered if Urlacher could ever return to being the force he once was. But true to his nature, Urlacher didn't give up. He returned in 2010, showing the same tenacity and leadership that had defined his career. Though his body had taken a beating, his mind remained as sharp as ever. Urlacher continued to be a dominant force, relying on his football intelligence to compensate for any physical setbacks. His ability to anticipate plays, make tackles, and command the defense remained undiminished. In 2011, Urlacher faced another major hurdle, in the final game of the season, he suffered a devastating knee injury, tearing both his MCL and PCL. For most players, this could have been the final nail in the coffin. But Urlacher, in true warrior fashion, dedicated himself to rehab, fighting to get back on the field. Although the injury slowed him down physically, it couldn't diminish his impact on the game. He remained the emotional and tactical leader of the Bears' defense. Urlacher's battle with injuries wasn't just about physical recovery, it was a testament to his unbreakable will. While his body might have taken hits, his mental toughness and leadership abilities never wavered. He continued to be a cornerstone for the Bears, proving that no matter how many times he got knocked down, he would always rise again. Even in his final years, with the wear and tear of injuries catching up, Urlacher's resilience was what set him apart. He wasn't just physically tough, he was mentally unshakable, and that made him one of the greatest linebackers of his generation. A player who truly lived up to the nickname, the monster in the middle. Legacy, Urlacher's Hall of Fame. Career is Urlacher the greatest linebacker in Bears history? Or does his legacy stretch beyond Chicago? That's the debate among fans and analysts alike. What's certain is that Brian Urlacher's career was nothing short of legendary. He wasn't just great, he redefined what it meant to be a middle linebacker in the modern NFL. Urlacher's list of accolades speaks for itself. He was an eight-time Pro Bowler, selected to the NFL All-Pro team five times, and in 2005, he was named the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. These achievements alone put him in rare company but Urlacher's impact went beyond the numbers. He was the heart and soul of the Bears' defense for over a decade, and his leadership and football intelligence made him a nightmare for offenses. In 2018, Urlacher earned the ultimate recognition, induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. This honor cemented his place among the all-time greats, not just in Chicago, but across the entire NFL. He joined the ranks of other Bears linebacking legends like Dick Butkus and Mike Singletary, but what set Urlacher apart was how he evolved the position. In an era where the game was changing and linebackers needed to be faster and more versatile, Urlacher's unique blend of size, speed, and football IQ 
allowed him to thrive. One thing is clear, Orlocker took the tradition of great Bears linebackers and pushed it into the 21st century. His ability to drop into coverage, blitz, and still be a force against the run made him a complete player, something that few linebackers could claim. Urlacher's legacy isn't just about his awards and stats, it's about how he redefined the position and became the leader of one of the most feared defenses of his time. Whether or not you believe he's the greatest linebacker in Bears history, there's no doubt that Brian Urlacher will always be remembered as one of the best to ever play the game. Post-NFL life and continued influence. What does a monster do after football? For Brian Urlacher, retirement didn't mean stepping away from the game entirely. It just meant taking on a different role. After hanging up his cleats, Urlacher transitioned smoothly into a career as an NFL analyst, providing insight and breaking down games with the same sharp football mind that made him a dominant force on the field. Urlacher has also remained deeply connected to the Chicago Bears. While he no longer leads the defense, his legacy continues to influence the team, and he's often seen mentoring younger players, sharing the knowledge and experience that helped him excel for over a decade. His presence around the organization reminds players and fans alike of the standard he set during his playing days. Off the field, Urlacher has taken on various philanthropic efforts. He's been involved in several charitable organizations, focusing on causes like children's health and education. His work as a mentor to young athletes shows that Urlacher is still giving back to the game that made him a legend, helping the next generation of football players develop both on and off the field. Even in retirement, Brian Urlacher continues to make an impact. He may not be putting on a helmet anymore, but his contributions to football and to the community are still very much alive. Urlacher's legacy extends far beyond his playing days, showing that even after football, the monster is still making a difference. Brian Urlacher's career wasn't just about stats, it was about impact. He transformed the middle linebacker position with his rare combination of size, speed, and football intelligence. As the heart and soul of the Chicago Bears defense, Urlacher led by example, becoming the cornerstone of a unit that struck fear into offenses across the NFL. His leadership on the field, paired with his relentless drive, set him apart as one of the greatest defensive players in football history. With eight Pro Bowls, an NFL Defensive Player of the Year award, and a spot in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Urlacher's legacy is cemented not just in Chicago, but across the entire league. He was more than just a player. He was a leader, a game changer, and a symbol of excellence for the Bears. Brian Urlacher wasn't just the heart of the Chicago defense, he was the soul of the team. Want more stories of NFL legends who dominated their eras? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.